what I'm focused on here at Media Marks Weather Studios. Take a look. Hurricane Matthew, the track, I cannot emphasize enough, is a devastating track for Florida. If you haven't evacuated already along Florida's east coast from North Miami, Boca Raton, on up to Melbourne, Jacksonville, St. Augustine here, you need to evacuate now, especially if you're within a couple miles from the coastline. You should be heading north and westward here. Even if it's to the western portion of the peninsula of Florida, you're still going to get buffeted, but the east coast of Florida here is looking rather grim at this point. So this thing could make landfall. It's strengthening category four. It's top sustained winds between 140, 150 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 175 to 180. Pressure is still dropping and it's moving northwest. Starting to pick up a little bit speed here. It should make landfall somewhere between Boca Raton, West Palm Beach and Melbourne, Florida. So. If you're in the path of this hurricane, I cannot emphasize enough, this is a dangerous situation. There is going to be catastrophic damage up and down the eastern portion of Florida here. So if you are in eastern Florida, you need to get out. This system maintains category four strength, even if it heads just slightly inland here because it's got the moisture, it's got the heat content here of the Gulf Stream and temperatures, sea surface temperatures are well above normal here in the Bahamas and off the east coast of Florida. Also, I'm going to show you a map here shortly that's going to illustrate why Matthew cannot head all the way up the east coast as which was thought a couple days ago. This system will bend and look at this. It will come back next week because it will be blocked by high pressure in the northeast in this Hurricane Nicole. Take a look. Hurricane Nicole is influencing Matthew here. This system is looking rather strong and this should help deflect Matthew back to the west doing a loop and potentially by the middle portion of next week making landfall once again near Miami, Florida. So this is not looking good and going into the Gulf of Mexico later next week and could re-strengthen back into a major hurricane. Matthew is want, going to be one for the record books and Nicole is going to help Matthew out here and of course they're going to influence each other's track. What's going to happen here is Matthew will get affected by Nicole, help each other dance around each other here. These systems are going to dance around each other for many, many days, possibly weeks. We will be talking about these systems for quite some time. Now let's take a look at the wind field of Matthew. Very strong wind field, even tropical storm force winds pushing well inland here into Florida already. We got hurricane warnings already up in effect, up and down even Lake Okeechobee here. Take a look at the Bahamas here getting hammered. Hurricane force winds up 145 with gusts up to 175 here. Extreme damage likely. And take a look at those hurricane warnings. They extend all the way up and down here. This is not looking very good for Florida, especially from Friday morning, late, early Friday morning, all the way through next week. We're going to be talking about Matthew here in Florida for quite some time. So taking a look at all we have to do, all our data with this system, it just doesn't look very good. So if you can evacuate Eastern Florida, do so immediately because you don't have much time left. Taking a look at, of course, Hurricane Nicole, strengthening here, this system will be a factor in play and I will be talking about this system a lot too as it's influencing Matthew. Let's take a look at the factors affecting Matthew. Strong high pressure to the north building. This thing was depicted by the models a couple days ago is not building this far west, but it's going to stop Matthew and its tracks just south of North Carolina here. Hurricane Nicole out here will not let Matthew exit due east. So what does Matthew have to do? It has to bend right back towards the Florida Peninsula, make another landfall. And we're going to be talking about this in the, the Gulf of Mexico, and we could be dealing with a major hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico once again. So. Actually, we haven't seen a major hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico in quite some time. So this is going to be a game changer here. This Matthew storm, many of you predicted Matthew would be a devastating storm, and it is turning out already to be. So let's take a look at what we've got going on factor-wise for rainfall amounts. Take a look at this, 10 to as much as 15, 16 inches of rain. Look at that, my rainfall key doesn't even go that high. Really extreme amounts of rain from North Miami all the way up to Boca Raton, Melbourne all the way up to Savannah, Charleston, 
we're looking at 10 to 15 inches. Let's take a look at the forecast. The weather factors, you got back east here. The factor, of course, is going to be Hurricane Matthew. Let's take a look at the, I'm only going to take a couple days this weekend into your Saturday across the northeast. Look at this. We're not looking very good as far as a weak cold front, clouds and some showers. But the good news is this is not associated with Hurricane Matthew. Hurricane Matthew was originally predicted to move up the East Coast. It's not going to do that now, now that it's blocked, because Sunday, high pressure rolls in, and look at this fall-like temperatures. Mid-50s will be the popular number, double nickels 55 here. So that takes us through the weekend here in the Northeast. In 10 seconds, I'll have a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Pink to Scranton's Upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark. Comments, Twitter, WX Northeastern, Google Plus, and Media Mark. Here's your five-day. Stretching further the weekend here. Look at this. We start off with Saturday. Yeah, we'll have a few showers around clouds. Nothing with Matthew. Into Sunday, it's the cooler day, but it's the nicer day. Crystal clear, brilliant sunshine here. Take a look at that. Heading up towards the upper 50s into the rest of your work, Columbus Day onward, we get into 60 to 65 degree weather. Nice Indian summer, to say the least. That's going to do for this edition of Weather Northeastern.